Hey guys, what's up? It's time for another PBR battle, and I am once again using my uh, first trick room team. But in this one, I'm going up a perf against a good person. One, his ho -o, I actually got in a second battle with him that I ended up losing. Um, his ho -o is actually a calm mind ho -o that actually uses special attacks. So I thought that that was kind of cool, since most of them just use, like, Sacred Fire and Brave Bird and Earthquake and stuff like that. Um, he has a Ledian and a Cloister, and that's pretty cool. He has the only other Ledian I've ever seen, aside from the ones that I use. So I think that's pretty cool. So anyway, uh, this battle is where you actually get to see Ariados. That's awesome, because Ariados is cool. Especially mine. I like mine. Because I've never seen one like it, and it's very cool. Anyway, start off with Slow King and Kingler. The kings of Trick Room. Heh <laughs> whatever. Um, and I go for, you know, obvious, the Trick Room and a Sword Stance. Now, I'm going to guess that this guy didn't even see the whole Trick Room thing coming because he doesn't double-team Slow King, even though he could have. But anyway, he goes for Thunderbolt on Slow King. Doesn't knock it out, thankfully. And Ledian goes for Bug Buzz. Now, check this out. This does quite a bit for no Swarm. Well, granted, Kingler doesn't have too high special defense. But still, that didn't do all that bad. Anything. Uh, anyway, one thing I have to say right now is that this battle was incredibly laggy. And so it's going to look pretty jumpy when I'm selecting my moves. Sorry about that, but yeah, it was just awful. So anyway, cut there. <laughs> I go for Psychic on Mainectric, and then I go for the Sword Stance Boosted Crab Hammer on the Ledian. Because I know that I can at least take out the Ledian. If I use Kingler on it, I might, maybe I should have gone for the main Ectric, but it, nothing really bad comes of it, so there's nothing to worry about. Anyway, Psychic does quite a bit of damage to main Ectric, and then Crab Hammer hits, and knocks out, uh, Ledian in one shot. No, Ledian, I'm sorry, you're too cool to die, but whatever. If you're fighting against me, then you will die. Anyway, Manectric goes for a Thunderbolt, and takes out Kingler, now that, you know, he's the bigger threat, with the sword stance. So, Kingor goes down, taking Ledian with it, and then out comes Ariados! Hooray! This is Shelob the Ariados. Remember Shelob from Lord of the Rings? Because it took me like 45 minutes just to remember that friggin' name. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. That's not, uh. That's not Shelob, that's Webster. I'm sorry. Very sorry. My girlfriend helped me out with that nickname, as with all my other ones. Very sorry, I forgot. Anyway, um. Webster the Ariados is an Endure Ariados. He has, uh, he is a special attacking one, actually. I mean, I know you've seen him before, but I might as well just go over his strategy again, since it's been a while since I've used him, and especially since his strategy has actually gone off well. But anyway, Slow King goes for Psychic on, uh, Cloister, and takes it out in one shot. No, uh, Scar for Band or any, I won't. No Scar for Focus Sash on him, so that's kind of interesting. Anyway, Manectric goes for Thunderbolt and gets a critical hit on Ariados, but brings him down to his uh, 1 HP, which is great, because that activates both my Salak Berry, I mean my Patea Berry, sorry, and Swarm. So now I have pretty dang high special attack. So anyway, one thing I gotta say is that Slow King has survived for quite a while, considering there's a Manectric out there and he's a Trick Room or a powerful... Like, hard-hitting Trick Rumor. But anyway, I uh, go for Psychic on Main Trick, trying to finally take it out. And of course, this Ambipom came out, and so I was instantly, like, really worried about Fake Out taking out one of my guys. But check this the frick out, okay? Look at this. Alright, go for Psychic. No Fake Out. This is like, once in a blue moon, you'll see a, an Ambipom that does not carry Fake Out. You know what I mean? That's in frickin' incredible. But anyway, Manectric goes down to Psychic, and then check this out. Ariados, Signal Beam! Kaboom! Check it out. I almost one-shot an, Amb an Ambipom with Signal Beam from an Ariados, and I also get Confusion Hacks. But I bring him down to his Liechi Berry, which was kind of funny. And right here, I was like, oh, please, please kill yourself, but no. That would would have been the most epic thing ever. If I got a confusion, he activated his attack boost, and then he died because of the attack boost. That would have been amazing. 
But no, he gets his attack boost. He goes for double hit and takes out uh, Slow King. So out comes uh, Exploud to clean house. And um, right here, uh, he just goes for an Endure just to try to stall out the Trick Room. I don't really know why people do this. I mean, if you know you can only take out one of these guys, then there's really no point in doing this. If you're going to lose anyway, just lose. I mean... I guess if you just want to level the playing field just by getting it one versus one and then die, it's okay. But, yeah, he snaps out of confusion in the very next turn. Does that happen to be a lot or what? Um, he snaps out of confusion. I go for a signal beam. Kaboom. Take him down to one. I was really hoping for another confusion. That would have been awesome. But, um, Exploud goes for a hyper voice. Kaboom. And then uh, he lives through both attacks just because Endure is annoying like that. At least when you're fighting against it. You know, I take a bit of life orb damage, and the, he stalls out the trick room successfully. And then, uh, at this point, you know, it's just waiting, just killing him now. It's like, okay, yeah, he's going to kill one of my guys, but that's fine. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, he's just stalling out the trick room. I don't, I still don't get it, though. Why? I mean, that's really the only reason I can come up with is just wanting it to be one versus one in the end. But whatever. For some reason, he goes for uh, Exploud and not Ariados. Um, so maybe he just wanted both of our Pokemon to be really weak. But anyway, kaboom! Best death expression ever. Expression. Uh, animation. Anyway, um, Ariados goes for Signal Beam and kaboom! Knocks it out. Maybe he was expecting me to protect or something. But anyway, um... How about that for the people... How's this for a battle... Like, you know, for the people that wanted me to get a battle where I just barely scratch by. Is that good enough? I can end it with one guy left? How about that? Alright, anyway. I'll see you in the next fight.